Hello everyone, my name is iTrooper and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install unsafe callouts to your LSPDFR. This is currently number two on trending and it is pretty pretty cool callout pack. As always, make sure you guys show love and support to the creator of this mod for bringing us this awesome mod yet again. Check them out right here. You can click find their other files. Make sure you leave a review and leave some ratings as well as they're always very very useful and people always forget to do so. But this mod you guys can see right here includes quite a variety of callouts. And right here, there are a couple of requirements. I will leave an info card in the top right hand corner of the screen, showing you guys how to install this with my other videos on how to install all the JoJo mods. But he does do have a little bit of a recommended section on this page, which is deadly weapons. I also have a video on that and call out interface. Haven't done a video on that since I haven't been back in LSPDFR in time to do one. And I will do one eventually. Do not worry. Just make sure you guys remind me if I do forget in the comment section. And also let me know what you guys want to see next. And like, comment, and subscribe if you find this video useful. But all you guys are going to want to do is hit download this file, free and download, make sure you're installing the latest version. Click here to speed it up a little bit. Once it's done, open it on up, go into the Grand Theft Auto V file. And just like so, like pretty much every other plugin, you're going to want to find your GTA 5 main directory. So to do that, for those of you guys in Steam, go to Program Files 86, go to Steam, Steam Apps, and then Common. Here will be your GTA 5 main directory, but for me, it's in a custom place of Steam Library, Steam Apps, and Common. But for those of you guys on Epic Games and Rockstar Games, your GTA 5 main directory and how to get to it will be down in the description below. But for those of you guys who have got to your GTA 5 main directory already, go on inside and literally grab these two folders and drag and drop them into your game. Once we've done that, go into Plugins and LSPDFR, and you should be able to see that the callout is in here, right here as unsafe callouts. Now I'm gonna show you guys a little bit further the configurations file or the .ini file. Right click on this and open it with Notepad or Notepad++. I use Notepad++ and it is pretty useful. I would recommend installing it if you haven't already. But come into the config and you guys can change a couple of things here. So this is gonna be your unit type or your unit name. So you can change it from the default unit type of uh, Lincoln. You can change it to like Charlie or Oscar, or Tango, whatever you want it to be. Here you can change your uh, your in-game dispatch will call you from the following format. You can change this. can be a little bit confusing, so I wouldn't recommend it, so I'd just leave that normally. Here's your key bindings. This is your interact key. I'd recommend leaving it as Y, as it doesn't uh, conflict anything, so just leave it as Y for now. You can change it to K or whatever. And for your end callout key is end. It's pretty simple. Here you can enable and disable all the callouts in the game, so if you do have a YouTube video coming out with this mod, then you can disable some ones that are PG friendly, that are not PG friendly and will get you demonetized. So maybe like guns and stuff like that or death. So that's probably gonna get me demonetized even for mentioning that, but hey ho. So this is pretty, pretty useful to have in pretty much all call out packs. But once you've done that, you can change true to false. That's all you guys need to do. And just Y to K, L, B, Q, whatever you want it to be. It's pretty simple. And obviously here you can change your unit number. But other than that, I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys want to see next on the channel. If it's a tutorial, gameplay, random games you want me to play, maybe stream. I forgot to stream this week. Do apologize. I'll stream next week. Maybe. Not promising. Hopefully I will. But other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.